Good morning. In this presentation, we are going to see how we can trade in MCX Copper today. Uh, before looking into that, let us see what happened yesterday and what we expected yesterday. Though we have not provided any video presentations yesterday, but uh, we had provided some chart support in our blog website. Uh, so uh, whenever we are, uh, we are not posting any videos um, in YouTube or uh, in some other channels, uh, you can directly go to our blog and see that surely we would have provided you some material to assist you. Now let us see what happened yesterday. So for this complete week we were targeting 422 and not only for this week, for the few weeks before also we were targeting 422 and you all know the importance of 422. Why it is playing a key role in trading copper market. If you are an experienced trader and if you are continuously following copper then you should have known it. Uh, okay let us see what happened. So what we expected was that again even though the market closed higher. Uh, on the previous day you can see that the market closed around 421 though and even then we expected the market to continue its uh, downtrend having 422 as a very major resistance uh, in copper market but it, we know that uh, copper is really consolidating between 422 and it is not also coming down below 417 uh, and 418 now let us see what happened yesterday after the price opening around which is around 420 which is just below the previous day's price closing and also you can see the chart patterns after the price opening entirely if you see the chart pattern it clearly shows that there is some selling that can possibly happen in copper market so if you draw the trend line also you can so that uh, you can understand the importance of drawing a trend line also here you can connect this and see where the trend is intact because whenever the market is consolidating it is good to use the trend line also soon we will teach you if you have any doubt you can come and ask us um, how to connect and how to modify the trend line it is really a part of trading uh, uh, so now let us see what happened after that after the price opening you can see that the market just really consolidated and tried to hit this uh, because this zone provided a support on the previous day's trading session so the market tried to took some resistance around this uh, 420 zone and it came down you can see that again found a resistance again it climbed up so in the average of which we have drawn is also guiding us uh, so it was an entire clear drop right from the price opening you can see the market went down so it is a clear drop that the market followed as a pattern you can see that and it reached 417.5 around 417.25 the market came down but what happened whether the price sustained this because we know so many times the market is hitting 418 to 417 and giving a bounce back and also we cannot neglect the fact that the market is drawing uh, market is coming down from 432 and it is also a great drop we cannot say that uh, uh, last Friday the market dropped terribly and it followed the trend uh, so we cannot always expect the market to give 10 10 point moment every day so that is how commodities work particularly copper and it really took the support around 417 and it gave a bounce back uh, now we can see that this uh, trend was also broken so it has taken some support here but still we know 422 is going to be a biggest hurdle for copper market so it really after that you can see it is a very straight away gain in copper market so uh, right from 417 a clear bounce back you can see how the trend follows it is a very clear trend and there was a good effort from the buyers to push it very clearly above 422 and the market really stepped into the 422 zone but we know as a trend follower unless until we see a clear price action above 422 possibly a closing above 422 can put us into a stronghold that the market can come down till then or after that uh, we know it is uh, quite uh, difficult for market to easily break 422 let us see what happened after that the market provided resistance and you can see it is a clear drop again so it came down very clearly and consistently low, like how it went higher it came down and you can know that it closed around 418.6 so on seeing the entire price section we can say that apart from this strong buying because we cannot neglect this fact also it is not a simple buying you can see it is a very strong buying and the price really tried uh, these buyers really tried to put something above 422 and but they couldn't sustain that and a failure uh, to break this push the market down uh, closing around 418.6 <clears throat> so what it means uh, uh, lower opening and lower closing 
and testing the previous day's uh, high and just creating a little bit of new high above 422 compared to the yesterday's price action and closing lower and also most importantly today also it is expected to open bit lower which means that you can expect the market to open around 417.5 or something like that uh, and also we can we can say that since we are posting this uh, videos well before the currency and commodity market price opening it is subjected uh, to changes the pre-open is subjected to changes just based upon the indian rupee value just correlate with the international price and indian rupee and you can find where it's going to open really it's, so it will work uh, to certain extent you can see that but we know that we can be clear that it is going to open more or less uh, below this previous day's price so are closing which says that the price trend downtrend is still intact uh, you can expect the market to move down uh, so what we are trying to say is that still copper is good for selling so that is a major reason you should follow the trend the zones and possibly the support and resistance so the support and resistance and identifying a key potential zone where the price can give you a huge profit is a key to the trading success so let us see what what's going to happen today what we are expecting it can move down but uh, it is consolidating for a long time unless until you see your uh, because this 422 is still in the frame uh, in the picture frame it is so that we cannot take it very easily because it is very near uh, just a two point bounce back or two three point bounce back can provide some buying momentum like you see that how what the, how the price action happened uh, yesterday this is how the market will react because uh, people are try, try, trying to put something above 422 unless until you see this price uh, 422 in your chart uh, within the time frame you cannot relax uh, that is what we are saying though we can expect the market to move down a word of caution please stay strong on this 422 level and please place your stop loss above it <coughs> copper is today copper is good for selling and the target zones are 416 initially uh, that is a zone you can expect um, which was a uh, which was a good major support and if the trend continues 412 is possible so let us see what's going to happen during the training session and thanks a lot for all your support and watching our videos happy trading take care bye